All right, so right now we're looking at centroid worksheet number two, question number three. So we're going to start off by taking this complex shape, breaking it up into smaller, simpler shapes. So the first shape we did is the large rectangle, the 10 by 6 rectangle. Center that over 3, up 5. Area of it is 6 times 10, so 60. 3 times 60 is 180. 5 times 60, 300. The second shape we're going to look at is the circle. Circles there towards the middle of the shape itself. To get to the center of that circle, we got to start at the bottom left corner. We got to go over three, then we've got to go up four. So the center is three, four. Area of that circle is pi r squared, radius being two, cutting it out, so negative four pi. And then x times area, three times four pi is negative 12 pi. y times area is four times four pi, so negative 16 pi. Last shape we're going to look at is shape three. Shape 3 is that triangle up on top. To find the centroid of a triangle, we take a third of the base. Third of the base. So third of 3 is 1. Third of 6 is 2. And then we take that point and we base it off the origin in the bottom right. So to get to that point, we've got to go 5 right and then 8 up. Area of that shape is 1 half base times height. So 3 times 3 is 9. So cut that out. Negative there. So 5 times 9 is negative 45. 8 times 9 is negative 72. So then we look at the sum. We got 60 minus 4 pi minus 9. So we left 4 pi in the notation previously. Now we're going to go through and actually type it into the calculator for us. And we've got a negative 38.43. Then we got 180 minus 12 pi minus 45. That gives us about 97.3. Then we've got 300 minus 16 pi minus 72. That right there gives us 177.73 or 72. So to find the final centroid value, we take the sum of the x's times areas divided by the sum of the areas. We take then for the y value, sum of y times the areas divided by the areas. So 97.3 divided by 38.43 gives us x center value of 2.53. And for our y value, we take our 177.72 divided by our 38.43 and end up with about 4.624. And that then, if we mark it onto our sheet to find the centroid location, we want to go over about 2 and a half, and then up about 4 and 3 quarters. And then we can estimate that centroid location right about there.